Welcome back to the show. I'm Dennis Michael Lynch filling in for Steve today. Are we entering a 30-year-plus global cooling phase? Well, author John L. Casey thinks so. Casey is the president of the Space and Science Research Corporation and is a former White House National Space Policy Advisor and NASA Headquarters Consultant, who in his book, Dark Winter, says we're entering into the start of a new climate change that will lead to dangerously cold, cold weather over the preceding decades. John, welcome to the show. Dennis, thank you for having me. I'll tell you, this is one of those topics, you know, I like to educate myself on everything, and this is one of those topics I could never get my hands around. So I'm assuming your book is saying the complete opposite of what it is that President Obama wants me to believe. Am I right in that? Exactly, Dennis. Uh, my book talks about the influence of the sun in the, as the primary driver of climate change, whereas the President and Al Gore and the United Nations talk about man-made climate change caused by CO2. So, so who, who's, who's telling the truth here, John? Because I can tell you that, you know, President Obama and, and like you said, Al Gore, I mean, they're, they're, Al Gore is making a fine living off this topic. Well, certainly a lot of people have made a lot of money off man-made global warming and man-made climate change. But our group at the Space and Science Research Corporation deals with facts, not the political version of climate change. And unfortunately, what's happening with the real world and in particular what's happening on the sun is really going to affect all of us for decades to come. All right, so explain that to me. I mean, you say that, you know, everything is going to start to get cooler. And I got to tell you something, we just went through a summer here in New York, and I don't remember there being a 90-degree day. So I'm buying into this. Ex explain to me more about how it is that everything's going to start to cool down and why. Well, fundamentally, the sun operates by very predictable, very reliable cycles of behavior. Uh, in my original research done in 2007, I discerned at that time that global warming was going to end within three years and a new cold era was going to begin. That's the crux of the book, and it talks about that in detail. Dark Winter explains a 206-year cycle of the sun that's actually bringing the end of global warming and is now bringing a new cold era for 30 years, dangerous, bitter, and record cold. You know, I'm thinking about how this would maybe affect um, farmers and crops. I mean, is it going to have an impact on that? Absolutely. In fact, that's the primary impact of these cold eras. If we go back every 206 years and look at what this cycle does, there is massive global crop devastation. That's really the primary threat, and we need to be prepared for that and the myriad of ripple effects that come from losing crops people not having enough food, not just uh, around the world, but even here in the U.S. We've now grown used to having lots of food in the U.S., and unfortunately the breadbasket of the world in the United States and Canada is about to get hit very hard. Uh, it's, uh, it's very scary. I mean, you know, just from a, from a layman's um, point of view, I, you, you said that we need to prepare. I, what is it that America can do to prepare for something like this? I mean, what, what's going to happen? I mean, we can't run out of food. Well, the, the first step, Dennis, is to get informed, either by my book, Dark Winter, or other books that are out on the market that explains what happens when the sun goes into these solar hibernations. When we see the sun cutting back on the energy by which it warms us, then things get very cold for a long period of time. So if we go back and look at history, the last two times say that this 206 year cycle was at play. We see that we have uh, the need to store food, lots of food. We need to be prepared for going to the store when there's no bread on the shelves, no corn available, no wheats available for long periods of time. Now this won't happen like a light switch going on and off. We'll start to see gradual damage to our crops and then in the worst of the coal phase, we'll see not only substantial crop damage, but we'll also see uh, very strongly correlated major earthquake and volcanic activity at the same time. Wow, so let me ask you, I mean, if Al Gore was watching this program right now, what would he say to what you're saying right now? 
Well, Al has, uh, is very familiar with what I'm saying, and of course he doesn't mm -hmm. agree with it. He says that mankind causes climate change, and he does so by the CO2 that comes out of our industrial plants and the tailpipes on our cars. Uh, the reality is quite different, of course. After 30 years and $30 billion by the U.S. that's been dedicated to climate research, we now know that the global warming based on mankind's greenhouse gas theory is a huge failure. There is really no substantial well, John, John, contribution. Let me, let me say something. I've been, I've been flipping through the book here. And we are offering a special deal right now for Newsmax TV viewers. If you want to take part, go to Newsmax.com slash Dark Winter and get your free copy of John Casey's Dark Winter today with special offer. That's Newsmax.com slash Dark Winter. Now, up next, Chairman of the Committee to Reduce Infectious Deaths, Dr. Betsy McCoy.